Hey guys, Dave and Tim here for the Single Malt Review, and my goodness, it's 2022. We're all mm. we're still here. The bombs haven't fallen. The COVID hasn't come and got us yet, but hey, there's still time. Mm. Um, new year, new whiskies, new rums. Yes, it's been too long since we looked at some good old-fashioned rum. Mm. And drinks by the Dram have delivered. What's delivered is a tasting set. Yes, indeed. So we're going to rip into this one. Mm. And um, without further ado, we're going to get on to rum number one. Mm -hmm. So Dad's going to slide out the pack there. Quite a nice represented pack here. Nothing too, um, nothing too exotic, but it delivers the bottles. And these ones we're pretty familiar with, because they're the same wee jobbies that come out of the calendar that you guys are so mm. familiar with, typically. Now this one, what have we got here? It rum. is not strictly speaking rum. Mm. It is rum bullion. Mm. Exclamation mark. XO, 15 years old, spirit drink. Yeah. And when I read the word spirit drink, I make this face. <laughs> because that means adulteration. Yes. What we have here though is from Abel Force. This is a spiced rum, effectively. So it's, but it starts its life as a 15 year old Caribbean, I believe, Caribbean rum. Yeah, which has then been given a bit of a bit of a zhuzh up, a bit of a spicing, a bit of a sweetening, perhaps, by Abelforth. Mm. And they have added, off the top of the head here, they have added Madagascan vanilla, mm. um, Seville oranges, um, cardamom, and a few other thingamies. Mm. I'm, as you can tell, probably not that big into spiced yeah. rum, but hey. <laughs> um, I'll give it a chance. Mm. So I'm going to give this a... Um, a, let's call it a 3070 mm. as a spiced rum hater that yep. um, I'm going to give this one a pass and a 70% that I'm going to say, why would you do this to 15 mm. year old rum? <laughs> so we'll see how but it the, um, Yeah, the sweet vanilla and Seville oranges and other spices are on there. Nosy and tasty notes, certainly. But it's not certain that those are all being added to the mix. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so, um, lovely colour, yeah. natural or otherwise. Very evocative of old rum. Mm. This is a this is a hearty wee beast at forty six point two percent ABV. That yeah, is not bad. Heavy. That's not the usual sub forty um, percent yeah, no. spiced rum liqueur. Because yeah, spiced rums, as Dave mentions, some of the worst offenders mm -hmm. are coming in under proof. Thirty eight percent, thirty seven percent, disgusting. Mm. Um, but no, this one, craft presentation, at least mm. in terms of the ABV. So there you go, that's a point towards it yeah. before I really get savage. Now, let's see, what do we got in here? Ooh, that's a, Ooh. That's a good hit of old rum on the nose. It is heavy, well oat. Yeah, I'll uh, give it that. I'll give it that. Spirits. Rum is the primary tasting mm. note, as it should be. It is so. Plenty of vanilla, a good dose of spice, and some citrus as well. Are you getting just wicked mm. cola coming out of here? Like I'm a little bit, a bit of cold uh, chupa chups. Yeah. Mm. In fact, the um, yeah, Drinks by Dram produce these rather excellent cards with tasty notes. And here, um, yeah, Old Fashioned Cola is one hey, of hey, the tasty notes go. for the finish. Interestingly, it's not the nose, though, with a promise... Uh, I'm just that ahead of the game. Sweet vanilla, uh, sliced oranges, mulled wine hints of toasted cinnamon and cloves, a core of well-aged rum. Mm hmm Weirdly, I'm not mm. getting so much of the vanilla. And finally, oh, dark no. chocolate, ripe plum, and a fragrant oak. The oak is stronger than I expected. I like that. Yeah. All right. This mm. might be. This might be talking me around. Yeah. Um, it's. It's a pretty busy nose. Mm. There's a which lot is going on. Maybe you know that's understandable considering how much has been chucked at it, but. Mm. It's in no way unpleasant. Yeah, yeah. This isn't like sort of loud and artificial <laughs> like other spiced rums we've tried. All right, on the palate, we'll see. Ooh, man, there's a lot of citrus up front. There's some very bitter orange. Ooh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, man. There's some rich, dark molasses and toffee and caramel of, I suppose, sugars from old rum. That orange really comes out mm. swinging. I Whether this actually I... contains orange or not is hard to say, but it seems quite plausible. I think it, I think it has to. Yeah. The tasting notes from Drinks by the Dram on the palate. We have a, a thick mouth coating palate entry offering crystallized peels, Seville oranges, marmalade hint of blackberry, a soft chamois leather and cedar wood, 
and then a huge dosing, in their words, of cinnamon, cloves, and licorice. Yeah. The licorice is quite subtle. I'm I enjoy licorice. I'm a licorice, I'm a licorice, licorice too. Yeah. sweet, but I mean, not I like, like it. intrinsically yeah. in my in my rum, but um, it's not a huge yeah. flavor here too. It's there, but it's not driving. So as you oh, maybe get some. Maybe some kind of seed. water in there because that, that sure. is just the, the orange is mm. out of control. A bit of star anise or even um, cumin, maybe, uh, factors in here in the spice mix. This is like an old rum had relations with a bottle of Contro. This mm. is the orange is mm. striking. That's gone a little lemony on the nose. Wow. Mm. Yeah, I don't dislike it, but I think they might have over egged it on Ooh. the orange peel. Oh, there. wow. That, that is, is astonishingly that is sweet rare. and fruity, yeah. Well, they have, um, you know, props to them and points for honesty of calling it a spirit drink and not rum. It is clearly rum-based. Mm. Rum is a driving force, but so much has happened super since that it's really transformed it. I don't know what to think about mm. this. Um, I've got this, and I, I don't have nearly enough um, spirit to run the experiment, but <laughs> I've got the sneaking suspicion that this might make a really decadent tall drink with a couple of ice cubes oh. and a tumbler, but... On its own, just sipping, aside from that, I must describe it as astonishingly dominant um, orange peel mm. note, that is so out of control, it's incredible. Um, this is pretty nice and balanced. They, what usually happens with spiced rum, the first thing that happens is, it's not so much spiced rum, as is we have just backed up the dump truck mm -hmm. and unleashed a bunch of sugar into this rum. Yeah. Flavoured and, sugar syrup. And then there's some spices. I don't think this has happened to this. If there is mm. any sugar in here, I think it's pretty subtle. Oh, no, I think there is, there is a lot of extra sweetening in here, assuming mm. it wasn't unsweetened rum, uh, which I believe is the case. So this is, this is a sweet, uh, very, very spicy liqueur, I, I feel. Yeah, it's it's difficult to mm. tease apart because the that that fruity peel is so it's mm. such a sweet note on it. Um, my my buds are having a bit of trouble mm. actually um, telling where the sugar ends and the fruit sweetness sort of the suggestion yeah. of sweetness begins. In fact, that sheer bottle strength over forty six percent ABV I means this was a stonking strong rum went mm. in here to begin with. So I'll say two things about this whiskey. It's the best spice mm. rum I've ever tasted. It's about the fourth spice rum I've ever tasted, mm -hmm. and it is far and away the most expensive spice rum I've ever tasted. <laughs> so, with those qualifiers, I think this is pretty good. Yeah. Um, I still think they might have just bombed it a little too hard with that mm -hmm. peel. That just seems shockingly strong, mm -hmm. um, considering it isn't intrinsically even a spice. But... It's interesting. Mm. It is interesting. I still get the impression I'm drinking it too warm and this would sort of coalesce and you get more of that cola um, mm. refreshing quality, which is a height of yeah. summer here in New Zealand as we filmed this, so it is pretty toasty. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a bit confused. I want you to do mm. the score first. Oh, that's the thing. I was thinking I would decline to score this one because yeah. it is a spiced rum spiced liqueur, rum. which is so far yeah. outside the wheelhouse. Yeah. All right, spiced rum. Score it against rubber rum. Bugger it. Be... No scores yeah. for you. <laughs> Yeah, it is, It is. You know, if it was, was a straight up rum, I would happily put a number on it, but mm. it is, it's just, it has so few peers in our tasting experiences, there's so little, um, I guess, of a benchmark to score it against, it just wouldn't seem fair or even relevant really to assign a number to it. I'm simply enjoying it, it is strong, it's got a hard hit to it, there's, mm. the rum component is there, the spices and fruit are augmented into this, just a, an explosion of flavour and character really. I'll give it a I'll give it a pretty nice bit weird. Hmm. That's my score. Yeah. Place that as you will. If you've been experimenting with spiced rums and you've tried your Sailor Jerry's and your Krakens and you want to just take things to a whole different level, then absolutely. Um, yes. I'll give it its full name. Abel Forth's Rum Bullion XO, 15 years old, spirit drink. Mm. You'd be hard pressed to do wrong. Interesting. Bit weird, but mm -hmm. interesting. All right, curly start to the box, but I think we've just got straight rums from here on out. Yes. So should be more um, conventional sailing. So anyway, stick around for that one, and we will be right back with the next. Sludger, or whatever they say in the Caribbean. Mm. Who knows where. <laughs> 